Light 98.7, WLZW, the best variety from yesterday and today. And wanted to bring you more information on the uh, storms across central New York. And one of the hard-hit areas between uh, Syracuse and Oswego was in the uh, small community of Mineto. And I'm talking with uh, Victoria Usherwood Galenis, who is the founder of the iHeart Oswego uh, website, uh, Twitter feed, social media outreach. Uh, Victoria, thank you for taking a few moments to talk to us. Thank you. Wanted to uh, get your perspective on the uh, Mineto uh, Drive-In Theater and the damage that it took and, and kind of a few memories from there and what that means to the community uh, to uh, take a loss like that. Uh, well, as you, as you probably know, there are not many drive-in theaters left in the country. This is one of the few. And it had not only a meaning to the community here, but the memories that are involved with going to the drive-in that we are really so fortunate to be able to carry forward to our own children. So the, in the long history of the Midway Drive-In, you can find families that go back six, seven generations, uh, I believe that's correct, that have all been to the drive-in. So at least from the 60s, from what I can even remember. And I, and I was born in 1960, and I remember going there as a small child right through an adult. And, uh, Victoria, I know this is very early on, uh, just a few hours after the uh, storm moved through. H- have you heard anything from the, uh, the, the folks who own or run on uh, any plans for the future repair? Or, uh, you know, what is the next step for the uh, Midway Drive-In? We have uh, one of our staff right on site now taking additional pictures, trying to assess the damage. Uh, of course, we've put it out through Facebook. We're putting it out through our website now that we're going to do whatever we can do to help the effort to rebuild if that's what's necessary. Of course, we don't know what his own resources might be. Uh, we haven't spoken to John as yet. That will be the next step in the process. But the community support that, that wants to pitch in and make sure that this midway drive-in goes on for generations to come is already huge. And, Victoria, you mentioned uh, your website, iHeart uh, Oswego. Tell us a little bit more about that and how they can find more information, not only about the drive-in, but uh, what uh, you've got going in the community of Oswego. iHeartOswego.com and the iHeart Corp. was created to build awareness of what, uh, to the residents and citizens of Oswego, New York, Uh, what their own resources are, from business, locally owned and operated, to just local business, to events. Uh, Last year, I think we published 8,586 individual non-repeating events in 13126 only. So that gives you an indication of what's being missed by everyday citizens, newspapers, et cetera, iHeart covers, in addition to uh, doing promotions for business, uh, raising awareness for non for profits We all uh, serve community hours every year. It's a part of our employment. Uh, we must at least do at least 100 hours of community service every year. And, of course, we, we ex- far exceeded that last year and this year already. Victoria usherwood Galenis, the founder of iHeartOswego.com and the social media outlets. It's a uh, great follow on social media and on the web to find out what's going on in the uh, Port City. Thank you for a few minutes for uh, talking with us this evening. Thank you. I appreciate it. We'll keep you updated.